Hello and welcome to our channel and on this video I'm going to show you how to do a traditional wired edge. Now I learned this process many moons ago when I was an apprentice at Morgan Motor Company. I still use this way to date and I thought I'd make a good little video to show you if you find yourself in a situation where you need to replace an edge. You can find this on a lot of pre-war cars or up to cars to the 1960s. So very handy to know even if you're not doing a, a restoration uh, or job of, from that era, it's a handy little skill to have in your metalwork arsenal if you were to find yourself in that situation in the future. Also, I want to give a shout out to Robert Extreme Plasma for sending over a banner. Please go check him out at extremeplasma.com. Rob supports a lot of the big YouTubers like Urchfab, Double Boost, Trev's blog, Make It Metal does an amazing CNC plasma table, which we got to see the other day. Unbelievable what uh, capabilities of that machine. Also, they've got an online shop if you need consumables and wound equipment, uh, mass, and even the machines like the par weld, the SIP, and it does our tech as well. So please go check him out and go and support him. He's local to us and a top bloke. So yeah, a quick plug for Rob as he really deserves it. and. Look forward to showing you the tricks and tips on this little wide edge. So this is the panel we're gonna be using. I've shaped it like this to replicate a wheel arch and that's where you most likely end up using this process. Uh, this is 1.2 aluminium or 18 gauge. Uh, the grade of it is 1050A. We use this a lot of work for the body work and everything like that. So I thought it's a good representation uh, when doing this process. The wire that I'm going to be using is a four mil mild steel galvanized coated uh, bit of wire. It's what we use in our wide edges. Uh, the galvanized has good corrosion resistance, hence why we use it. So I'll go on to the next process now. I've shown you how to work out how much material you need. So what I'm going to do is work out how much material I need for this edge here. So when I knock it over, it's flush like so. How I do this? I've got my wire thickness, four mil. I'm then gonna times it by pi, which is 3.142. I then get to the total of 12.5 millimeters. I'm then gonna minus my material thickness, which is 1.2, which leaves me with 11.3. Now 11.3 is really hard to get with your dividers. So I'm just gonna say round it up to 11.5, 11.5, however you wanna say it. I'm then gonna mark my edge here and then that's where we're going to go to when I knock it over on the block here. So now what I recommend is finding a hammer with a similar shape to the wired edge that you're trying to achieve. So with this one, I've got a nice domed face on there. You can use this side, but I do prefer using this side here. And uh, that will help you. If you've got a straight hammer, you're then gonna end up with a load of hammer marks along your edge. And what we're trying to do here is just make a, a nice smooth uh, wide edge. We don't want loads of marks in there. They will happen, and I'll probably mix them in this one, but uh, if we can eliminate that, then that'd be great. So what I'm gonna do, is just place my line on the edge of the block here, just eyeballing it up, and just gently just gently knocking it over. I'm not going right up to the edge there, as I want that to be a nice smooth transition. What I don't want to do is knock it over. So we get a sharp point like that, as the wire doesn't sit nicely in there. What I'm doing is just breaking the edge of the material and then working my way back getting it tighter as I sort of come back. So, come here. What I'm not trying to do is knock it over all in one go. 
and uh, it gives you a chance to just make sure that you've got your metal up against the edge underneath. Now what I'm doing is just tidying up this edge here, making it more consistent. What I'm gonna do now with the slapper is just tap it down, as you can see. It's slightly gone out of shape where I've moved the metal. this edge here where the uh, metal's slightly gone out of shape where we've knocked it over. So that's my end result so far. So now I've got the panel sitting nice and flat on there. What I'm gonna do is I don't wanna just put my piece of wire in and then start knocking the edge over. What I wanna do to soften that edge over is just Start tapping away, but I don't want to just go like straight over. What I'm trying to do is just nice and gradually and bend that material over like so. And for that, I'm just being careful where I hit it. I'm trying to break back of the material so we end up with something like so rather than just for demonstration purposes what I don't want to do is end up with something like that that's a no-no you can do it but it doesn't look very nice so what I'm trying to do is do that and then it'll just form around the wire a bit nicer. So this is the wire that I'm gonna be using. What I want to do is shape it to the profile that we're going to be uh, using. So just, it bends really easy. I'm just going to shape that up. So, I'm ready to go. What I'm gonna do for this demonstration purposes is just leave a little bit out at the end there. I always find at this point, if you use a pair of mole grips just to hold the wire up tight against the edge, it leaves your hand free to then hold the panel and uh, it makes it easier just to start the whole process off. So what I'm doing, I'm just gripping the wire and the material together just tapping it over like so. Just do small increments, like about an inch each time. That way you can guarantee that the wire is then pressed up against the edge because what you don't want is a gap to form. Now I've got the edge over this far, what I want to do 
is just tap it down a little further because if I start trying to wrap that now, what it's gonna do there is just lift that edge up. So I just need to knock it over just a little bit more just to seal that gap. And then I can get a dolly behind there and knock it up and then seal the wire up. But if uh, the gap's too big there, it'll just undo when I come to do that process. So this is the hammer I use for doing my wired edges. I've used it that much. I've uh, worn a flat into the side, as you can see, where I've been going like that. What I am gonna do now is just tape up this edge here because what I don't want is marks in my panel. So every time you come back, the hammer is moving ever so slightly and what you'll get is lots of little imprints along here, little marks where your hammer's been. So to eliminate that, what I do is use a bit of masking tape, just tape up the edge here, and then it'll save more cleaning up on your panel. I'll show you now so you can see what I mean. As you can see there, where I've been going up and down, it hasn't left any marks in the panel there at all. But you would get that if it was just bare metal going up and down. So now I've made one pass over the material. What I'm gonna do is just tap it down just to close that gap back up. going to go back over with the block just to tighten it up and that should be the final time I need to do that. So there we go. That is our wide edge. What I'm gonna do now is just quickly tidy that up and that'll be all finished. Easy as that. So all I'm gonna do now is just give it a quick little clean up, real fine file there. In all fairness, the only marks I've got along that edge are where the teeth dug in from uh, the pliers.
bit of old sandpaper. And to finish it off, a bit of scotch. And that's it. That's the panel done. I'll get a few close-ups of that now. So that's it, hopefully you've enjoyed the little video on how to do the wired edge and learned a couple of little tricks and tips along the way. If you have any ideas for future videos, drop us a, a comment uh, in the box below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we try and get back to everyone that leaves us a, a nice comment. And yeah, thanks for making it this far into the video. See you in a future one. And don't forget to check out Robert Extreme Plasma. You won't be disappointed. See you in the next video. Ciao.